nucleus, occurrence, position, number, shape, and size. The nucleus is the most conspicuous and largest organelle controlling all the vital activities of the eukaryotic cells. The nucleus was first discovered and named by Robert Brown in 1831 in plant cells. It was quickly recognized as a constant feature of all eukaryotic plant and animal cells, except the mature sieve tubes of vascular plants and red blood corpuscles, RBCs, of mammals. A Danish biologist, Joachim Hammerling, 1953, on the basis of his studies of acetabularia, a single-celled alga, proved that the nucleus is a storehouse of hereditary information. The position or location of the nucleus in a cell is usually the characteristic of the cell type and it is often variable. Usually, the nucleus remains located in the center, but its position may change from time to time according to the metabolic states of the cell. In the embryonic cells, the nucleus generally occupies the geometric center of the cell, but as the cell starts to differentiate and the rate of metabolic activities increases, the displacements in the position of the nucleus take place. In certain cells, such as the glandular cells, the nucleus remains located in the basal portion of the cell. The nucleus is peripheral in fat-storing cells or adipocytes. Usually the cells contain a single nucleus, but the number of the nucleus may vary from cell to cell. According to the number of the nuclei, cells have been recognized as uninucleate cells, binucleate cells, and polynucleate cells. Most plant and animal cells contain a single nucleus. Such cells are known as uninucleate cells. Cells which contain two nuclei are known as binucleate cells. Binucleate cells occur in certain protozoas such as paramecium and cells of cartilage and liver. The cells which contain many, from three to hundred nuclei, are known as polynucleate cells. The polynucleate cells of animals are termed as syncytial cells while the polynucleate cells of plants are known as cenocytes. The most common example of the syncytial cells are the osteoblast or the polykaryocytes of the bone marrow, which contain about 100 nuclei per cell, and the striated muscle fibers contain hundreds of nuclei. The siphonal algae vocharia, which contains hundreds of nuclei, and certain fungi are the best examples of the sinusite cells. The shape of the nucleus normally remains related to the shape of the cell, but certain nuclei are almost irregular in shape. The spheroid, cuboid, or polyhedral cells, isodiametrical cells, contain the spheroid nuclei. The nuclei of the cylindrical, prismatic, or fusiform cells are ellipsoid in shape. The cells of the squamous epithelium contain the discoidal nuclei. The leukocytes, certain infusoria, glandular cells of some insects, and spermatozoa contain irregular shaped nuclei. Generally, nucleus occupies about 10% of the total cell volume. The nuclei vary in size from about 3 to 25 microns in diameter and contain diploid set of chromosomes. The size of the nucleus is directly proportional to the amount of cytoplasm in a cell. Moreover, the size of the nucleus 
is related to the number of the chromosomes or ploidy. The haploid cells contain small size nuclei in comparison to the nuclei of the diploid cells. Likewise, the polypoid cells contain larger nuclei than the diploid cells. Thus, the size of the nucleus of a cell depends on the volume of the cell, amount of the DNA and proteins, and the metabolic phase of the cell.